everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i know i'm not extremely active here on youtube um for the past five years i've been working in education um full time and all, i was also a mom as you guys know and so it was really hard for me to balance youtube and my full-time job and being a mom and so youtube kind of took a back burner um however i am transitioning out of my role in education <laughs> So with that said, I would love to start um, using my YouTube more. I'm not making any promises. However, though, if you do want to follow me, I have, um, I'm very active on my Instagram, so I'll link that down below. So with that said, if you do follow me on Instagram, then you know that I'm expecting my second baby girl. I'm currently 36, going on like 37 weeks. Let's get started so this is not a long video. Um, first, I'm going to start with clothing. Now, I'm not going to show a bunch of clothing because, yeah, I mean, you, you get a lot of clothing. However, this time, I'm, I I have very few really cute outfits. I have, like, a few, like, oh, my gosh, super cute outfits. And the rest of her clothes are sleepers. Okay, that zip. And I love the newborn ones because they come with the built-in mitts. And, of course, they already have, like, the little booties attached. So you don't even have to worry about a bunch of pieces and uh onesies and i i mean i have tons of these too i just these i just got these in the mail that's why i'm showing these but like basic onesies are cute onesies but onesies and then i have a bunch of just like white colored newborn socks and <laughs> baby socks and like that's what she's gonna wear it's the easiest and then also um mitts for the sleepers that don't have the built-in mitts. i'm gonna go into bath so um products that we're gonna use we're gonna start off using the baby Ganics, and i actually got a full like gift set of this so it came with a bunch of other baby Ganic products but what i can say are my advice for new moms is don't settle on just one type of um product for bath or even any type of product that you put on your baby because you never know how their skin's gonna react or how sensitive their skin is my first daughter had super sensitive skin and so we know that this works on her so we are afraid that our new daughter will have or her second daughter will have um skin issues and so we're going to start off using this but then we also have a bunch of samples from other places so try your best to get samples from making baby registries or going to like events or just signing up online for free samples of things because you just never know next for towels um i, I have a plethora of just towels and a bunch of stuff but for mainly for bath time we're going to use birds bees um 100 organic cotton towels so we have like a bunch of these hooded towels and then some of the face towels they're just all put up in and as far as for her baby bath the first time i had a really big baby tub and i don't too much care for it honestly but i've been seeing lots of things and good real care had lots of really good um reviews and it's just a bath insert you just put it in your bathtub or you put it in a in your sink if it can fit and works well for okay the next category is diapering so um First, for wipes, we're actually going to use the water wipes, and we also have some of the Pampers Pure um, wipe collection as well, and they're supposedly also majority water. But the water wipes are 99.9% .9 water and like a 0.1% fruit extract, and I think it's grapefruit if I'm not mistaken. So we know that these will be extra gentle on our daughter's um, behind. I randomly found this bag at... Um, JC Penny, and I don't like traditional looking diaper bags. There are really, really cute ones in the market that are super expensive. And actually, for the size and what this is, this was kind of expensive, but I also had a coupon. Um, so yeah, it's just blush pink. I, the brand is Nicole Nicole Miller. I don't know. And it has a bunch of pockets, so it works as a diaper bag. Um, and then for the actual um, diapers that we're going to use, we are going to use the Pampers Pier Collection. And I really loved using Pampers um, swaddles on swaddlers on my first daughter, but I always really wanted to use like a natural product. I just didn't really find one that worked well for us, and so Pampers swaddlers were the best. So I was really excited now that Pampers came out with a pure collection. So we're using that. And then additionally, um, when it comes to diapering, we are going to use this Skip Pop organizer. Um, I love this thing because you could literally throw it in your car or literally throw it underneath your in your um, stroller and it has all of your essentials so the skip pop organizer okay next we're going to move on to feeding so i am going to mainly breastfeed i was pretty successful with breastfeeding with my first daughter i had to go back to work and so i had to pump and so i plan to um breastfeed as well as well as pumping so first and foremost i have the boppy pillow 
and yeah I loved the boppy with my first daughter and I'm sure I'll love it again and then next I have this um, if you're gonna pump it's a it's really essential that you have a storage system so I'm gonna use the Medela storage system here it comes with some bags and some um, bottles to hold the milk as well as like some labeling caps which are really cool um, I did not get to use those on my first daughter so I'm excited to use them this time and then um, because I'll be mainly breastfeeding I'm not too hung up on bottles but we do have a few to try and start with and the same advice that I have um, that I had for products I or like skin products I have for bottles like you know buy one and test them out you never know what your baby's gonna like so we are going to test out the Komotomo bottle as well as ma'am and then I ha also have some Dr. Brown's and like the Avent ones event Avant Avent and um, there's another brand that I have but we'll just try it out and as for as for my pump I got my pump from my insurance so be sure to check with your insurance because you may be eligible for a free pump but I have the Spectra S2 now with my first daughter I used the Medela and I actually still have it it's a little rusty but it still works and this one came out after I had my first daughter and I heard that it just made such a splash in the breastfeeding world and everyone loves it so I wanted to give it a try. I have um, several different types but I have the um, Lansino nipple cream girl if you're gonna breastfeed this is essential I also have a few organic ones but I know that I liked this one the first time so I just wanted to make sure I had it on hand okay moving on from feeding we're gonna talk about some health products if you will I am gonna talk about gripe water now my first daughter was gassy and like had lots of trouble in the first couple of months and just it was a lot and we were new parents we didn't really know what was going on and so I feel like we we had gas drops but I hear so many great things about gripe water and I wish I could go back and use this with her but anyway we stocked up on it this time for this baby because I heard it just it just is a lifesaver and really helps so yeah um then the nose Frida we use this with my first daughter this thing is essential people feel like it's gross sometimes you're gonna have to deal with baby fluids <laughs> when you have a baby I'm not grossed out by it but it really really helps clear up the congestion for the baby we even still use it for my older daughter now so we have another one for my baby girl and then next the thermometer we're gonna use we're actually gonna use several different thermometers but I haven't got the other ones in yet but we're going to use this um, Bluetooth and phone adaptable um, Kinza we're also gonna, also from this brand we're gonna get the forehead one as well so I think it's good to have several different thermometers so that you can get an accurate read on how your baby is feeling um, the next thing we have it's kind of big <laughs> I don't know if I can show it it's just a humidifier we had one with our first daughter we needed a new one we have this one it's a cute elephant shaped <laughs> and um, this one had pretty good reviews and then lastly I know this product can be a little controversial or I shouldn't say controversial but like some people have feelings about it um, we got it it is a bit expensive um, we got it because with my first daughter I just was a lot of the time I was waking up because I was petrified that she was not breathing and so um, honestly I didn't get a lot of sleep because of that reason <laughs> and it wasn't even because she was up so I would be popping up every other second to see if she was still breathing then I would finally fall asleep and then she would wake up so I was exhausted anyway with that said I think that um, I think that it was worth it for my peace of mind and, and that is the outlet smart sock too um, and it just is a heart rate and oxygen uh, monitor and it monitors that for your baby over the night now I know that there's some discrepancies that people talk about with the app and like heart rate and like what's an issue and what's not honestly I want this just to alert me if my daughter stops breathing <laughs> so um, I did not get to try it with my first baby and I'm excited to try it with this one it's too much okay back on to sleeping so we have a bunch of really cute swaddles so I have these here they're the muslin swaddles these came from Target and I was gifted this I was actually given this one from what is this brand it's a really cool brand it's like organic cotton I'm gonna link it down below guys sorry but it's um I can't even think so I have this brand and then um, we have a few Aiden and Anai swaddles as well that we use with my daughter. Actually this is um, a hand-me-down from my daughter. Um, and I love 
sw uh, muslin swaddles, but I actually don't swaddle with them, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But then we also have like tons and on tons of receiving blankets, and it's not because we bought more, it's because um, my first daughter had so many we didn't even use them all, and so I found like stacks of them, and I was like, absolutely. But these receiving blankets here, they came from Pottery Barn, came with a little stuffy, and yeah, so those are all of the blanket situation. Now, um, I said we don't really use the muslin swaddles for swaddling because I, that just wasn't for me. And actually my first daughter really hated being swaddled. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't doing it right. I don't know. Anyway, this time for swaddling, we're going to use the Swaddle Me. And I just got a one pack because, you know, I don't know if this baby will like to be swaddled. And so yeah, we're going to try this one out. And it's just Velcro, really easy to just wrap them up. You don't even have to deal with the blankets and like <laughs> it's like so, it's like so much okay and it's just not my kind of thing so yeah there's that that's what we're doing for blankets um next I thought I'd mention this really cute soft blanket oh my god it's so soft it's from Nordstrom Baby it's just really super adorable um and we got this as a gift and actually this baby is going to have a lot of hand-me-down like really soft blankets from my first daughter and so I thought it'd be really nice that she had her own special one so yeah there's this one then moving on to sleep. This isn't really a sleep item. I wouldn't let the baby sleep in this, but it's like a loungy resting, and that is the Boppy Lounger. I hear a lot, a lot of great things about this because you could just take it anywhere. I plan to use it when we're all having family time on the couch or something, and I can just prop baby girl up on this. Um, moving on, this thing, I'm sure you have heard <laughs> about this next item a thousand and one times, and of course that is the... Dakotot Deluxe Plus here and I just got it in all white um, and this was gifted to us. I did not get to use this with my first daughter because I don't think it was on the market or if it was it came out like right after I promise you some of these things came out like right after I had my daughter. Anyway I a lot of people love the Dakotot because you can safely co-sleep with it you can have your baby lounge in it whatever you want and I hear that it's a lifesaver for when babies aren't sleeping and so when I said my daughter my first daughter hated being swaddled but I also think she did not like being just out there. You know what I mean? So she really loved to co-sleep with us, but it would freak me out at the same time. Um, and so I'm really excited about this thing, to safely co-sleep, because I, I mean, I, I just don't hear anything bad about the dog. Okay, we're gonna go into like play stuff or like my etc. category because I couldn't think of any more category names. So something else that lots of people love is this thing here. It is the Fisher Price Rock and Play, and I'm able to lift it because I have taken it out already and have washed it, put it together, all those things. But we used this with my first daughter. And when I say, when I talked about how she did not like being in open space or even flat, like she loved sleeping in this thing. Um, the thing about it is our bed is so high though, and it's hard to be on the side of our bed. Um, so we just plan to just move this thing all around the house. We actually got a very basic version. There are really nice versions that have like automated rocking and that look really cute. We got a very basic one and I'm going to talk about why in just a second. Um, so a few other play items. You know, we didn't get a whole bunch of toys. We have a bunch of toys left over from my first daughter. Toys are toys. But I did want to get her some of her own things. So Cuddle and Kind actually sent me two dolls. I have a big one that my big, my older daughter has, and then we have this little mermaid here. It's Maya, and we are saving it for little sis. Um, but yeah, I just, like, I mean, if you guys don't know who Cuddle and Kind is, they're awesome. Every doll, I think, provides 10 meals to children in need, and like, they also have, um, empower people, empower women who hand make these, and so, um, yeah, great story. I'll link them down below. And then also this really cute stuffed elephant here, which is oh, sweet. Sweet little baby stuffies. Um, and then next, something that we don't actually have. Uh, I was hoping to have it here for this video, but it's fine. We plan to actually use the Mama Roo Sling, which look, <laughs> I know that people, it's like 50-50. Some people really love it. Some babies really love it. Some people hate it. Some babies hate it. I feel like that kind of goes with any baby gear, sling, bouncy seat. You never really know. Um, we did not have the mama room. My first daughter, she had a Fisher Price swing, which we still have. We're missing a part to it. Um, we think we can find it. So if all else fails, we'll just use that swing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get the mama room. See how we like it. Yes, travel. So I need to actually get up now to show you the 
stroller car seat system that we're going to use. Okay, so here is the stroller car seat situation that we're going to do. We uh, went with the City Go by Baby Jogger car seat. That's just because we really love this brand. Um, and the frame that is on is actually the City Tour Lux. So with the Lux, you can remove this toddler seat, which we have over here. Here's the toddler seat. I don't know why I can't get the... Anyway, this is what the toddler seat looks like, and it's removable. So you can put your car seat on it, and it, you know you can take it off, it becomes a frame, and you can put your car seat on it. I love it because it's really lightweight. Um, we also have this skip pop organizer attached to it. But I really wanted something lightweight because we also have the... Um, baby jogger city mini and we used it with my first daughter like after she turned one or two and it's a great full-size stroller so we really didn't need another full-size stroller I really wanted a frame and a car seat but I kind of hated all of the frames on the market so I just went on ahead and bought the city tour Lux and the city go um car seat and then I have the adapters attached to that as well so yeah that's what we're using lastly with travel um we have the Lily Baby um, All Seasons, com complete All Seasons breathable 3D mesh baby carrier. And um, my first daughter, she didn't like to be swaddled, so she actually really didn't care for the wraps, and I also couldn't figure them out. I know that there's new wraps on the market that make it way easier <laughs> to do that, so maybe in the future I'll buy one. But I really loved baby carriers, and I love the Lily Bee. I've done a lot of research because you can put the baby into this carrier um, at a younger age because they start at a low poundage. So I can put my newborn into that and it feels really comfortable. So I'm excited to try that one out. Then next, moving on to some odds and ends. <laughs> um, Sophie, we used this with my first baby. Love Sophie, got that again. This, I haven't used this before, but the banana, the baby banana infant toothbrush, like you use it for teething, but I thought it was so cute. And a lot of people love it, so we're gonna do that. Um, we also have this Wubbin Up here, it's a lamb, so cute. We used the Wubbin Up with my first daughter. My first daughter actually wasn't a huge passy baby, but she would sometimes use them, IDK. But we also have, oh my gosh, guys. Ah! Okay, we also have a man pacifier. Um, we also have several other pacifiers, and I just ordered some of those na um, natural Sutton, like natural rubber pacifiers. I just ordered some of those. But like I said, you never know what your baby's really going to love. So, yeah. And then this sound machine. So we actually still have our old Sleep Sheep, but the Sleep Sheep is a little outdated with some of the sounds that it makes. And I heard some really good reviews on this, and this one was very inexpensive. So we got this Sound Spot on the Go by my baby by I don't okay I don't know the brand <laughs> but um, I just picked this up at bye bye baby and I've heard good things and it was really inexpensive um but we were planning on getting that hatch light sound machine because it can grow with your child um but we just haven't decided fully on if we're gonna get that yet all right guys so that is all that I have right now I did not show every little thing that I have for this baby because I mean, yeah, crib sheets, all kind of stuff. But I do plan to do more. Um, I have our hospital bags packed, so if you want to see that video, let me know. Um, and I'll definitely work on getting that up. Until the next time, thank you for coming and visiting my channel and watching my video. I will see you guys next time.